Hello everyone. My name is Anders Bagum. I'm a PhD student at the Multisensory Experience Lab at Aalborg University, which is located in Copenhagen. It's a pleasure to be here to present our work called Speech Stimuli Creation through Deep Learning Based Voice Conversion, which was carried out together with my supervisors, Stefania Serafin, Simon Leibesic and Jumhur Erkert. The creation of different kinds of speech stimuli are widely used in several listening test scenarios, counting everything from speech perception tests to emotion and voice expressivity recognition, especially for individuals with hearing impairments. The methods to create and manipulate stimuli for these tests are however still dominated by traditional DSP algorithms such as the face vocoder or the world vocoder, where one can modify pitch and spectral envelope to create different kinds of speaker characteristics. However, these algorithms have limitations in relation to both produced naturalness, realism and lack of speaker matching. Therefore, we propose to substitute these methods with deep learning based equivalents that can run in real time at high sampling rates, providing a novel yet high quality solution to create these different kinds of speech stimuli. More specifically, we propose what is called voice conversion, which is the act of converting one's voice to sound like that of another without changing the linguistics of the content. You may have heard of this procedure as a deep fake, which has very negative connotations and is unethical, but deep fakes are almost always done without the consent of the actual target speaker. And actually, as you see here, we already see the use of voice conversion in several fields, such as the entertainment industry for voice dubbing, or in healthcare and accessibility for giving life to digital assistance and for recreating pathological voices. There exist many ways to carry out voice conversion using deep learning. This could be done through autoencoders and variation autoencoders. It could be done through generative adversarial networks, uh, but also diffusion models, which has provided quite realistic results. The problem with these models, though, are that they are still very complex, computationally expensive, and rarely focus on streamability. And in order to overcome this, we take inspiration in the world of music generation. In music generation, we already see the possibility of timbre and instrument transfers, uh, especially in music production software and digital uh, audio workstations. This model here called Rave does this actually really, really well. Let's try to listen to a model uh, that is trained on hours of flute data when a violin is fed in. This is the violin sound. And now the output. So as you hear, there are instrument characteristics that are really, really well performed. Uh, but let's try to hear that on a model that is trained on speech. So as you can hear, there are speech characteristics, but no real sense of wording, linguistics or general content. Uh, and the reason this happens is because all this information is entangled within the latent space, meaning that we only embed information important to recreate a realistic sound and output, but not understandable output. So we therefore take the knowledge that we gain from these music timbre models and combine it with speech representation learning and voice conversion research. And what is important in this case is uh, this entanglement. This entanglement is the idea w that we can take specific information and disentangle it in order to recombine it and substitute it with the same features from different speakers. Such information could, as an example, be embeddings related to linguistics, speaker identity, or even emotion and prosody, as we see here, which then can be interchanged uh, with the same embeddings from a specific target speakers to perform the conversion. We do this uh, and end up with what we call the speech rave or S rave, which is an adversarial conditional autoencoder that is built exclusively on cached and causal convolutions. These convolutions only use uh, information from the past when processing the data, which allows us to work in real time in an streamable fashion. We perform the disentanglement by specifically feature engineering different encoders. We, as an example, design the main content encoder to focus on linguistics and we do this by forcing it to produce information as we see here that is similar to a much larger and complex Hubert based teacher model and this Hubert based teacher model is known to produce semantically relevant output information. 
We additionally also perform information perturbation, as we see here, to remove all speaker information uh, from the audio that is uh, going into the uh, content encoder. And secondly, we train an independent speaker encoder that extracts information relevant to the speaker identity only, allowing us to insert different speaker embeddings for the actual conversion. We evaluated this uh, model here against state-of-the-art offline models and see that we approach the same quality compared to more complex and specifically diffusion-based equivalents, both in terms of naturalness and intelligibility. Subjective measures performed using the mean opinion score shows similar results. However, our model runs 14 times faster than real-time on a CPU, allowing it to be easily incorporated into any speed stimuli creation software or third-party tools. So now let's try to hear how that actually sounds. What I present to you here is an export into Max MSP, and what you will hear is a random uh, input audio that could also be me speaking through a microphone that is then manipulated into sounding like different speakers that we trained our model on. He hoped there would be stew for dinner, turnips and carrots and bruised potatoes and fat mutton pieces to be ladled out in thick peppered flour fattened sauce. Stuff it into you. Hope there would be stew for dinner, turnips and carrots and bruised potatoes and fat mutton pieces to be ladled out in thick peppered flour fattened sauce. Stuff it into you, his belly counseled him. He hoped there would be stew for dinner, turnips and carrots and bruised potatoes and fat mutton pieces to be ladled out in thick peppered flour fattened sauce. Stuff it into you, his belly counseled him. He hoped there would be stew for dinner, turnips and carrots and bruised potatoes and fat mutton pieces to be ladled out in thick peppered flour fattened sauce. Stuff it into you, his belly counseled him. He hoped there would be stew for dinner, turnips and carrots and... And with that example, I would like to thank you all for your attention. I'm happy to answer any questions and look forward to all remaining presentations.